So when I first learned about Pecha Kucha, I was pretty reluctant about participating. I thought that it was meant for artists, and an artist I am not. Uh, but the more I learned about it and the more I considered it, the more I realized that it might actually make sense for me to participate. So I am honored to be here, and I'm excited to share with you all a little bit about our company and what our creative day-to-day -day looks like. Uh, so what the hell do I do? I own a custom fabrication and technical design company called TTS Studios, as mentioned previously. We specialize in creating physical assets for the performing arts industries, per premium events industries, and experiential brand activation industries. Too many words. Uh, we work with artists, designers, creative thinkers, and we help bring their visions to life. And in the best moments, we help to inspire them to develop even bigger and better ideas, and vice versa. So prior to my time at TTS Studios, I spent the first decade of my career uh, traveling the world as a technician and a production manager for Broadway tours. Um, I ended up being really against being in theater when I was growing up and then turned it into a career, because why not? Um, tired of traveling uh, and being on the road and away from my lovely wife, uh, I started TTS Studios in 2016 in the warehouse you see here, right off of 26. Patch Miss Whiskey Mural set a great tone every day walking in. In the beginning, we primarily served the performing arts industry, specifically the touring industries. Uh, one of our early projects was building the set for the 20th, 25th anniversary tour of Rent, uh, which was pretty amazing. Uh, most shows come to us fully designed from a visual perspective. Uh, our creativity gets to flex when we have to figure out how to take a stage full of scenery and engineer and build it in a way that can fit into a 53-foot truck. Um, we also have to figure out how to make it efficiently and effectively go from the truck to a fully installed production in only a matter of hours. And then we have to do it all in a way that preserves the aesthetic value while being durable enough to install over and over again in different cities across the world. So I got my first real job in the arts in Spoleto back in 2006. Um, I've been fortunate to be part of the festival in different ways since then. Um, working closely with designers and directors on opera productions was my first real experience in seeing a grand idea of art come to life. Uh, haven't looked back. Um, fast forward to 2018, a little slow, but you saw the set for Tree of Codes uh, that our company got to engineer and build. Uh, creativity in the performing arts world is a remarkably collaborative uh, process, and it is inspired in many different ways. For example, someone wrote this book, which is very weird, uh, and published it, and did that in a remarkably cool way, and then somebody got to turn it into an opera, and then we got to put it on stage. So as we grew and evolved, we started exploring out, uh, projects outside of the performing arts realm. An early example of this was the Natural History exhibit at the Charleston Museum. We sort of found the same creative itch being scratched working on this project as we had found on scenic projects. Um, and then COVID happened. Hard to believe that that was four years ago. Uh, but like so many things dramatically changed for us, bad pun, sorry, uh, our business model completely depended on theaters being open. And since that wasn't happening, we had to explore other options to use our tools and our skill sets to keep our team together and going. Taking note that outdoor events were being encouraged more and more through those uncertain times, we decided to start looking into experiential marketing opportunities. That helped us to encourage safe and socially distant gatherings, at least until the world was going to open back up hopefully one day. And turns out we really enjoyed working on those types of projects too. Um, I was also serving as director of production at Spoleto Festival uh, at that time, good life choice. Uh, and I was not only trying to keep studios open, but I was also working with other members of the creative performing arts uh, community here in Charleston to figure out how to safely bring shows back. Um, and then this type of stuff happened and made us question everything. Um, but despite all the challenges and stress and uh, discouragement, it really sort of proved to be a testament to the creative collaborative uh, energy that the performing arts industry offers. Um, special shout out to the music hall uh, crew and the staff and then our colleagues at Spoleto and the gag, Gilliard, gag, sorry, bad language, <laughs> Whew, uh, for helping bring all that stuff back. Um, so once things settled back to normal, whatever the hell that means, TTS had evolved. We were still serving the performing arts industry, but with the support and encouragement of several of our colleagues, uh, we added a few new areas of focus. With our newly defined focuses and truly incredible creative community here in Charleston, it is really hard to imagine being anywhere else. 
Um, while the majority of our theatrical work is New York based, projects like Spoleto, Highwater, and other developing brand partnerships, as well as working with local artists, et cetera, really sort of solidifies our roots here. As we were navigating our business model into a new place, it became clear that we needed more space, and we were given an opportunity that we couldn't refuse, so we relocated last month to the Navy base up in North Charleston. Yeah, I didn't know this was a video, sorry. <laughs> Um, moving has been hard, but it has not slowed us down. In fact, we were shipping out the set for the national tour of Clue while being smack in the middle of the move, which is not something I'd recommend, but we're here. Um, I have an incredible team, and uh, no matter what the universe seems to throw at us, uh, we seem to come out the other side at least with a really nice looking product, no matter how bad the process might have been. <laughs> Um, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, more space and a wider breadth of focus means that we can now take on larger and more challenging projects. While in some ways this is terrifying, uh, it's also exhilarating to think of the things that we now have the potential to create. And I'm excited to see where that takes us. So thanks for listening. It uh, <laughs> means a lot to have the support of the creative community here in Charleston. i um, grateful to be here, honored. And uh, if you want to learn anything else, let me know. <laughs>